For those of you who haven't watched the previous De Whip show, the guys are out at De Whip, a pristine, protected area in the Western Cape, joining Liesl on a tag and release project to gather some really great valuable information. We're going to move now and I'll show you why I use the sinker clip. So to go through the next spot, all I do, I unclip the sinker, put it in my side bag, I'll show you guys later what's in there, and then just hook it onto one of the eyes. I'm ready to go. So now I'm on my way to the next spot, but because it's low tide, you have to observe where all the bridges open up. So this afternoon, most probably before we go up, I'll be catching casting in between all these scattered reefs for Fadun because the water is going to be up to here and the Fadun will be basically feeding between these rocks. As I said just now, if you look at all the scattered reefs here, this will be a great spot for the Padum to come and feed on the high tide. Over there in the distance as well, another great spot for the high tide. So, always important, while you're walking when it's low tide, look at the spots that you'll be able to fish the afternoon on the high tide, or look for good spots for the high tide itself. Another beautiful piece of reef for this afternoon. In between these rocks, it's very foul here. There's a couple of deep holes next to these rocks. And in the past, I've caught muscle cracker in between the Khajun at this specific spot. Today, we continue following Emil, who was allocated to target edible fish. Now I'm going to use a bit of red bait. See if I can get something in this hole here. Get my sinker out. And then just unclip the sinker clip. Spot here at Lakabata called the anvil. Cameraman can zoom in that side there. You will see that is why it's called the anvil and behind me uh, in the back is the beautiful Lakabata Lodge and this prestigious pristine beach that we are so privileged to be able to fish here. So let's see if the red bait can do the trick. Same principles as the red bait. Pre-made the bait and just hook it onto the hook. Emil moved slightly west from a spot called Anvil. The Whip is a spectacular venue, really something that's picture perfect and cannot be captured on camera. Whenever you have the chance to visit the Whip area, it's really advised. The camera ran to Rian who was allocated to target non-edible fish.
So uh, yeah, I just landed a, a nice smooth on shark. Uh, beautiful female, yeah, extremely strong. Uh, there goes the other rod probably. Okay, so we are, we're fishing uh, fishing the whip. We're a bit of a tagging session. And uh, yeah, I've got a couple of spots this morning. Uh, I think the fishing is going to start picking up now as the tide pushes as well. And that was a nice big piece of chocker. So let's see what happens next. Western Cape is known for several shy sharks and can jump on your bait before anything else. As the day progressed, it looked like there was some heavy weather moving in. The camera moved back to Emil when it got a bit quiet at Rian's side. Emil had a bit more action on his side and it wasn't long and his rod was buckling on a good sized white mussel cracker. Brusher, when Afrikaans are referred to it as a beanbag. On light tackle this is quite the challenge and really great fun. Some of the 
the smaller fish were followed by some really nice collier. Emil got another zebra fish, followed by some nice collier. Now well done to Liesel and the team for running a ship shape initiative that adds a lot of information to be able to manage our fisheries. And Emil closed his day with a shirt. Thank you all for watching and for those who've subscribed already. If you haven't, please subscribe and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video. Also like this video as it helps us a lot. I'm here fishing with Jason Marks from Four Oceans Angling Club in Cape Town. And how's the day been? Uh, lovely, it's always a pleasure to fish here. We should be fish here more. Uh, uh, very nice. Well, the end of day one, yeah, the work. What an interesting day. Uh, not as many Khalil as I would hope to get, but definitely a nice variety of fish for today. today. Don't forget to follow us next time where the tagging trip at the work progresses. See you next time. <laughs>